Hi all and welcome to my weekly update in gaming. Today it's all going to be about Diablo 4 as per my previous videos. Path of Exile is on a bit of a back burner at the moment because of this new wonderful Diablo 4 game. At the moment on screen you can see my low level Necromancer. I'm only level 13 and yeah this is the MTX I've got. I've got lovely uh, the GIF Twitch gift sub premium promo mount thing and I found this banner uh, on my travels so this is the neck monster and this is the uh, MTX I've chosen for the character this is going to be a bone spear non minion build when I get that far um, I'm leveling up quite slowly just because I'm focused on other gameplay at the moment so yeah it's um very low level geared there's nothing much going on it is in the very small process of leveling up i've just got level five bone spear we're down to blood mist and um corpse explosion and corpse tendrils and and that's about it at the moment so yeah it's going really well we're still in act one as you can see but we've got to go and find Nyrel over here and then we're over into Scos Glen. I am prioritizing the campaign. I haven't skipped the campaign and the reason for that is I did make a druid. I got that druid to level 20. I skipped the campaign on that druid and that because I'm playing solo that was a horrible choice. You skip out on so much gold and so much XP by not doing the campaign if you're playing solo. Yes you can go into dungeons and stuff but I'm trying to reserve all of the dungeons when I hit tier 3 so I can get the sacred items and then that will push me hopefully from mostly level 50 I'll go all the way through all of the dungeons in the game on each character and once I've completed the game, game campaign sorry, and then hopefully that will gear me up from going from tier 3 into well tier 4 and I can get the ancestral items and gear the characters out that's the plan, how far I'll succeed in that plan I don't know but so far, this is as far as I've got with the neck monster. Let's quickly log off. Into our story mode barbarian. Let's wait for it to come up and log in. There we go. So this is my story mode character. I have not skipped any scenes. I've not skipped the campaign. I am doing all of the side quests. And this is the character that will get 100% on everything. Side quests, however, there are multiple side quests in the game that require you to finish the campaign. There's a dungeon in Fractured Peaks that doesn't open until you've completed the campaign. And then there's four or five uh, side quests within Fractured Peaks alone that requires drops. One from a specific node in um, iron, um, one of the iron nodes, it's um, down here, it's specifically about there and there's um, a herb a frost bloom you need to get which is from this region I think do a google search before you go looking for it but yeah there's that one there and then you've got the uh, chest that can randomly spawn in here somewhere in this tunnel group I think it's this tunnel group here where all the bandits are and additionally in the same area in this I think it's this area hold on let me just check yep yeah. in this margrave area you see the, the the beige line around the map Somewhere in there, you loot the corpses, any corpse on the floor, you can get a note, which is another side quest. So that's four side quests that you can't do unless you do those things. One's from the ore, that ore node I just previously showed. One is from, I think it's the herb plants in this area here to get a frost bloom to hand in at Covershard. And then um, one from the corpses here and there's a chest I think comes in here somewhere that you have to just randomly find it's completely RNG so yeah be on the lookout for that so I've kind of taken a break from trying to get 100% on Fractured Peaks as you can see here I've done all the strongholds I've done the waypoints I've um, discovered all the areas I haven't done a single dungeon and I've got all of the altars on this character why because of XP gains um, 
just because I've opened up all the areas you still get these bonus XP and the gold and that is really worth unlocking obviously I can't do these two until tier threes but I'll get there eventually so that's where I'll storm my bow I generally tend to play this character after my evening meal because it's very slow paced and that sets me up for going to sleep and bed so haven't played that character I was very ill yesterday um, that was the 9th of June um, didn't feel particularly well on the 8th of June either so that's the Friday and Thursday respectively so I'm doing this video now now on to my main character my rogue let's take a drink while we're waiting for it to load there we go now my character has made it down into um, Kedjistan as you can see here I have made my way through uh, this PvP area, got those altars. This character is hunting altars and side quest, dungeon side quests mainly. I'm not doing all of the side quests. If we look at the rewards and go to Scots Glen, I think, I um, got the waypoints, done the strongholds, and done some dungeons, done the areas, and done the altars Lilith, but I've left the side quests. I'll come back to those at some point. Uh, then we went into dry steps and here you can see I've done very little. I've done the strongholds as I found them, done the waypoints, I've done the areas, but other than that I've done the altars. Those three were done as I'm looking for the altars. So these four kind of go hand in hand and then once I've finished getting all of the altars and discovering all the areas, I mean this make this the idea of my rogue was to hunt down all the altars for my alt characters to make it easier and it's doing a fantastic job of that and now I've switched over to the death trap poison trap build um, I can actually do dungeons I've even killed the butcher for the first time ever uh, it was a very easy fight on this build so yeah I'm really happy about that this build can be found on maxroll.gg um, just look for death trap end game rogue it's a fantastic build the only time I die now is from on death effects which I I, I hate them there's, there's no reason for them to be in the game uh, my actual excluding on death effects my actual death count now is seven two for the butcher four for the capstone dungeon going from well to uh, at well to to capstone dungeon because I just didn't have the gear and I'm softcore so meh whatever yeah, so two to the butcher, four to the capstone dungeon, and then one to the now hopefully fixed keyboard error where all my keys just don't work. So that's the number of deaths. I've had all of the other deaths on the character, which are about another 11, are uh, due to on death effects that I didn't know were happening, had no clue they were there. I'm killing, I'm killing, I'm killing, and all of a sudden I'm bam, I'm dead. I was um, full health, always in a dungeon on full health. If it's off cooldown, I've got my Dark Shroud up. So I've, I've only got 1.6k life, but when buffed with potion, I'm nearing 1.8. I'm using um, these ones, Elixir of Fortitude, so 30% increased life and XP. Um, so yeah, by the time I get that, it's nearly 1.8k life, nearly 2k sometimes, depending on procs, etc. Uh, my gear isn't that great but it's also not that bad um, we've got we're not min maxed at all as you can see none of the gears upgraded I'm going to save that really until I hit um, well tier 4 I might do it before that um, I might just death corpse run the capstan dungeon but I've got 14 levels before I do that so it's going to be a lot of altar running and getting the areas discovered basically pretty much doing what I did in dry steps here getting these three four done and I'll do that for um, Kyrgyzstan which is where I am now as you can see we've got four out of six two out of three there we've got 20 altars to find and just over almost halfway on the areas and then I'll go into uh, Hawazar for the last area as you can see I've, I've barely touched on this area I was just for the campaign and tree of whispers really but I'll get all that done then I'll be farming dungeons and tree whispers for gear and levels to get up to level 70 and we'll go straight into capstone dungeon get into well tier 4 
Ah, and that's the plan. I'm this weekend. I'm going to take a break from Diablo 4 after recording this video. I'm going to hit No Man's Sky today, and then tomorrow we will be making a new druid. And we won't be skipping the campaign. The Necromancer is fine, but. Um, I like being able to play different characters so I don't get bored of one character. My autism doesn't allow me to play the same character too long. So I generally play the rogue from when I wake up to about now. Uh, uh, Mid-morning break, 10 o'clock. Um, and then I have my break, I do my stretches, I do a couple of chores. And then I play a bit on my necromancer. And then I have lunch. After lunch, it'll be more house chores. And then uh, usually I play a different game, just give my brain a rest. Get evening meal out of the way, um, showers, etc. And then around about 20, 100 hours, I'll play my story mode Barbarian for a couple of hours. Which is why it's a slow progress. Uh, but I'm not bothered. Um, I'm also not watching a lot of Twitch because I don't want to see spoilers. I'm avoiding YouTube mostly because, again, I don't want to see story spoilers. And uh, I'm not on Twitch or Discord at the moment either. Again, desperately trying to avoid story spoilers. Uh, it's worked-ish mostly. I know the the two big bosses, but um, yeah, other than that, I'm looking forward to it. So I may even play some more Bob, my story mode story mode Barb tomorrow, rather than making a druid. Um, the only problem I found with Druid is they are very, very slow. Their skills are very, very slow. And the so far, I haven't played Sork, but I've played all the other classes. And so far, the Druid is the worst. Because you get no... The the, gen, the spirit gen, generation leveling up is atrocious. The Rogue, you don't even worry about it. The Barb is so easy to get up if you start off... Um, especially if you start running um, Deathblow... Most creatures die to that, so you don't even need resource. And then when you do need resource, depending on your build, it can it's okay, it's not too bad. Um, Necromancer, Essence auto refills after a while, so you don't worry about that too much, especially if you're not playing with minions. It's so easy just to cast a couple of bone spears and then bone splinters and corpse explosion, etc., don't, don't need essence um, but druid are oh my days it's so horrible the way I played it I was going for um, I was leveling a I think it was a pulverized build but you start off casting spells but I'm going to look into I need to look into the new storm um, werewolf and poison werewolf I think are the two new builds I've heard about but uh, yeah we'll see what happens anyway that's the update for me a nice quick update. Uh, again, I'm staying away from Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and um, mostly YouTube other than Darth Microtransactions because his videos are awesome. I watch most of them, uh, pretty much all of them actually. So yeah, hope you're having fun with Diablo 4 or AN other game you're playing at the moment. Have fun, stay, late, stay safe, good luck, and I will see you in the next one.